G'day Virgo, welcome to TJ Tarot and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. See what's going on, hey? Uh, decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. Alright, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. And we got them. <laughs> yeah, you don't like that one. <laughs> Oh, you never know. Could be someone else. Hope you're all having a good weekend. I oh, had a good weekend. <laughs> all right. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Card number two. All the cards are pre-shuffled as well. Okay. Shuffle on screens. A quick one. The jumpers anyway. Card number three. Okay. All right. Let's go. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. So is it someone who's released their ex? Are you their ex? Are they your ex? The star, that's your ex. They want to heal things with you. Yep, they want to heal the past. Six of Cups. And the lovers, or the Lady and the Lord. Um, yeah. Yeah. They want to heal this, heal the past, and come back to you as a soulmate. They see you as a soulmate partner. Ah, oh, Virgo. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, they know it's safe to open themselves up to you. Because you're not going to hurt them. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And the Empress. Wow, yeah, they want to see you, they think it's safe to come and see you in person. I'm hearing defensive, they're defensive about growing anything. I'm getting a stubbornness. Like they're not going to, yeah, they're going to be a bit defensive about trying to m make something grow. That's like they, mm, it's like they're going to sort of still leave it with you to do that. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, yeah. The High Priestess, yeah, they're still keeping secrets. There's red flags. They're still keeping secrets, style. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah. They think you could be the one, but... Then, you know, they're just going to go with the flow. They're not going to try and, like I said, they're not they're not coming back to take, you know, put things right and get things rolling. And, yeah, it's all about the passion for selfish reasons. It's all about themselves and the passion they want back. It's... Queen of Wands, here you go. Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, Two of Swords. Wow, yeah, it's all about the love of the passion here. That's what they want to invest in you, is the passion, the love of the passion. Because the plan is, because the King of Swords has a plan, he knows what he's doing. The plan is never to actually make a decision with the Two of Swords. <coughs> mm. Just coming back to string you along again. For the passion. But there's still secrets and they don't want this to grow into anything more than just a passionate connection. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, three more cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Two 
two more, please. Thank you. And clarifiers. While you're waiting for the clarifiers, feel free to hit that like and subscribe and the bell icon and yeah, it's free. <laughs> And I'd really appreciate it if you did that. All right. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Oh. Card number two. Okay. Settle down. It's going everywhere. Card number three. Okay. All right. We have walking away. I'm hearing that song more than a feeling. With that, I see my Mary Ann walking away. Hey. <laughs> I see my Mary Ann walking away. By Boston. More than a feeling. Yeah, the lovers. Yeah, again, the lovers. Under the lovers. And the world card. Yeah. Um, when you walked away, you made the choice to close out the cycle? Or did they walk away from the connection to close the cycle? Anyway, someone chose to close out the cycle and walk away. Angel of Love. Oh, the Devil Guard. Great. Queen of Coins. That's your energy, Virgo. And the Queen of Cups. Wow. Both loving. Extra super best love in the deck. And stability and commitment here. See... Angel of Love. Yeah, see, regardless of all the toxicity they have, they still think that there's a commitment here and that there can be really beautiful love, but there's toxicity here. There's that lust, I'm hearing, lust energy. They're confusing that with a commitment and love. <clears throat> trying to, yeah, trying to say it's love, but it's not. They want your stability and commitment and your beautiful love, but they're just bringing lust. Rest and rejuvenation, which is like the Four of Swords. It's healing. And the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they want to heal this and have back that long-term love. You giving them love long-term. They want to heal it because they want... they Yeah. Bottom of the deck, the Sun... Yin Yang, Healer of the Ages, and Door to Value. <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're going to try and make it very clear that to you that, well, it didn't make them happy if you were committed to them is in a balanced situation. But I'm feeling like they're more the, within every negative, there's a bit of positive. And you're within every positive, there's a bit of negative. Yeah, they think this can be healed. They want to make it clear that they think you're their other half. And they want to heal this because they see some sort of value in you of what they can get, whatever they want to get. But I don't, yeah. 
Justice card, Page of Coins, Palace of Coins, and the King of Swords. Wow. Yeah, they think things will be... Ba a balanced connection with you is they give a little... You, you set up the beautiful house. You set up everything. They can just come in and talk the, talk the, talk about stability. You will build the stability. And I'm hearing that's what they think. That's what they think. And that's logical. They think that's... Yeah, that's what they think. You set up the beautiful house. I'm going to just tell you what I want. And that's a balanced relationship. I don't like this energy. There's a lot of... Oh, they want to heal this with this beautiful love and, you know, but they're still hiding secrets and there's massive red flags here. Especially, like, you know, their love is good toxic. They say they want commitment and beautiful love, but there's... it's. And they chose to walk away and close out the cycle. Or you chose to walk away. Well, yeah. You possibly walked away and they, they're acting like, oh, I was the one that ended it. <sighs> See, please contact me here. Yeah, they're desperate. Give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Virgo, please. It's all show. It is all show. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to turn that one around. All right. You make my skin tingle. They ho they're hoping they can get your skin to tingle for them. I want you back. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, mate. And can we at least be friends? But that's a foot in the door is what I'm hearing. That's to get their foot in the door. They'll try just to be friendly and be friend. Oh, you know, we can just be friends. But no, nah, that's not. They don't want to be friends. They want more. I'm not good enough for you. Yeah, they know it. Can we talk? Yeah, they wanted to sweet talk you. Could we start again, please? See, I told you. And I don't want to love you. See? They're not in it for love. They're in it for, for you to love them. And for them to get what they want. Possibly, like I said, you know, just the passion. Just the wand action. Well, they don't want to give love. They just want you to... They want you to give them love, but they don't want to give any back. And they expect you to set everything up and make a beautiful, loving home and everything for them, but... Yeah. See, because they know it's safe to come back and see you, but I don't think they want to invest in um, growing anything with you. It's so like a mind game. You know, saying you could be the one, but not doing anything about making it something stable. Just coming in with that passion, or for them, or because of their own self selfish needs. All right, let's get a card for you, Virgo. One card from the universe. Thank you for Virgo. Surround yourself with nature and you will feel a greater sense of well-being. Nature's healing energy is sensual and magical and it will awaken the sensual magic within you. Yeah, Virgo, get out in nature. Stick your feet in the grass or, you know, breathe some fresh air or something. Yeah, especially you're an earth sign, so, it, uh, yeah, it'll boost your energy up. And yeah, and then you'll be looking real hot. So when you turn this piece of crap down, <laughs> and, and someone better comes along, yeah. Anyway, hmm. everything happens for a reason, and even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. All right. So, yeah, I'm hearing this was relating to this. Even though you don't think much of getting out in nature, hey, you could meet somebody out in nature. You know, the reasons, you know, not, you know, it could be just a clear thing of grounding yourself and staying grounded and, you know, getting out in that fresh air and 
embracing a bit of your own self energy back again and self love and self strength. Feeling, you know, hot and sexy about yourself, Virgo. Um, there's a reason. There's a reason you need to do that, is what I'm hearing. There's a reason for you doing that. So maybe you will meet somebody out there. Maybe not. Maybe you'll just be in that beautiful, you know, feeling good about yourself, beautiful energy, and that just attracts someone new. Yeah. In general. You know, it doesn't have to be when you go outside. It could be, you know, you're just giving off that better energy. Which attracts someone new. Just to feel good about yourself is, you know, possible. Well, is the most important thing anyway. You know, don't let this X energy. If you're not interested at all, don't let them spoil your day. You go out and feel great about yourself because you're awesome, Virgo. All right, don't you forget that. Okay, well that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Be nice in the comments, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. All the best. Take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.